Feeding students over the summer, South Carolina has turned down a new federal EBT program that would provide additional help to low income families while school is out. Claire Weber spoke with the state lawmaker about how the fight is still ongoing. Claire? Bill, some lawmakers pushed to include it in the recently House approved state budget. While they were unsuccessful, there's still the possibility of the Senate adding it before the budget reaches the governor's desk. Where we spend our money tells us where our priorities are. If we're unwilling to feed needy and hungry children during the summer, then what does that say about us? At least 36 states have opted in for the new 2024 summer EBT program. It would provide lower income families with $40 per eligible student each month to buy groceries. But South Carolina isn't one of those states. I don't think people realize that sometimes school is where kids get their food. They don't eat very well during the summer months. Um, and so this program would just help bolster that. And so it's disappointing to not see it accepted. Charleston County students can still receive free breakfast and lunch during the break through the district's summer meals program. Still, some lawmakers argued on the state house floor that spending $3 million to provide this extra assistance would have been money well spent. Many of the students that I represent in North Charleston live in food deserts, and so they don't have um, reasonable access to grocery stores and nutritional products. And so not only are you compounding the issue when you're talking about not feeding them, um, but they already had these are kids that already lack options anyway. Despite the program not making it in the state's budget, Representative Marvin Pendarvis says he's still optimistic after receiving bipartisan support in the House. Pendarvis is still encouraging Governor Henry McMaster to make the late choice to opt in for this year or at least revisit it for next summer. You talk about the core functions of government. This is a core function of government, making sure that we're feeding children during the summer, making sure that we're standing up for those who don't have a voice. Berkeley County Schools offer the same free summer meals program as CCSD. DD2 is still working to get state approval on their program, but district leaders hope to have a similar offer. Claire Weber, News 4.